Hello everyone, it's Jennifer Ryan here for the first time live on YouTube. Usually we do these on Facebook. So welcome to Annie's Crafts YouTube channel. I'm Jennifer Ryan from Celtic Knot Crochet and it's great to be here on this Friday. Uh, first Friday of summer for the northeast of the U.S. Hope you're doing well today. Hi! If you're just joining us, make sure you say hi in the chat below. Say where you're watching from. And hopefully this is working. Hi, Annie's Crafts. I'm glad it's working on your end. <laughs> Everything seems good on mine. I'm Jennifer Ryan of Celtic Knot Crochet. And I invite you to sit back, relax, and maybe learn something new today. I'm going to be sharing some steps, little tips and tricks on this little project here. This little ladybug and this bumblebee and this butterfly. And I can explain why I picked these three little bugs in a few minutes once we have more joining us but if you're just joining I'm Jennifer Ryan of Celtic Knot Crochet glad to have you hop on over here to Annie's YouTube channel sit back relax to watch some tips about these little guys here the buggy wrist rattles and if you're just joining Go ahead and write in the comments below, say hi, and where you're watching from. So Pat from Vegas, welcome. So glad you're here with us. And I hope that everything continues smoothly. This is our first time trying this over here on YouTube, but thanks for coming on over. Uh, it's great with all this technology that we can all kind of hang out together from all over the country and all over the world. I'm in New England and it's definitely summer here, but where are you watching from? Go ahead and put that in the comments or in the chat below and say uh, hi and maybe what you're doing right now. Are you working on a crochet project or are you on your lunch break from work or are you sitting at the beach? or in your backyard with your feet up enjoying the summer weather or maybe it's not summer where you are <laughs> so today i'm going to be giving you some tips i'm going to show you how i put together these little buggy wrist rattles and if you shake them you can hear they rattle and what they're for is for little baby to put on either their wrist or their ankles. You know how babies love to sit in seats and then kick their legs. Uh, so that's what I designed this to be for. Something for a baby to put on their um, hands or of course mm, they eat a lot of things um, or on their ankles. Mom puts them on and they kick and they see a cute little bug and it makes some noise. So I'm going to show you how I put them together. I'm going to show you how I put the rattle in them, uh, what I use to make the rattle. I didn't buy a pre-made rattle. I made my own. So I'll give you that little tip. And I'll also show you some stitching tips on how to start something like this and how to make one of these wings right here. So again, if you're just joining us, make sure to say hi in the comments below. And we're going to have a magazine giveaway. The pattern for this project and over 50 other projects is found here in this special issue of Crochet World, Best Crochet Animals, Toys, and Dolls. And it has so many great projects inside. You see dolls and something like a twister mat. So many great things in here. A cute snail. Uh, so this actually is on sale in Annie's craft store at the moment. Uh, but if you answer this question in the comments and you can do it right now live or you can wait until the replay later, go ahead and answer this question. Have you ever made any stuffed toys out of crochet before? 
or used what's called the amigurumi technique, where you make little critters using tight single crochet and tight crochet stitches and then stuff it so that kids and adults can enjoy them. Have you ever made one before? So answer that yes or no. And if you have, tell us one or two of your favorite things that you've made. And with having your answers there in the chat, I'll go through them and you need to put it there by Monday night, Tuesday morning. I will check them and pick someone and contact you and you get a free copy of this magazine sent to your inbox in digital format. You get it immediately so you can start work on all these great projects. All right, so that's how to enter the giveaway. Answer the question, have you ever made any crochet stuffed toys like are in this magazine? And these buggy wrist rattles, I'm going to show you up close. Pat says she's made lots and her favorite is a baby snow dragon. Thanks for writing that in, a baby snow dragon. I've never made a crochet dragon yet. Actually, I made crochet dragon gloves, but not something like this. So that must be really neat. So I'm going to turn my camera and you're going to see my ceiling for a minute here. Whoop. And let me just tighten things up so it doesn't fall here. Hopefully it'll stay stable. Go. So, what I wanted to show you was how some of these things were put together. So I'll show you here with the bumblebee. So first, I created a circle on top and I'm going to show you how to do an adjustable ring or sometimes it's called a magic ring. You might not realize that. Um, how to do one of those because it helps eliminate a hole when you do a crochet circle. So I will show you how to do that later, but that's what I did. I made a ball for the head and then for this one I started the same exact way but then just extended it and then I added the wings and then on the back I sewed on this wristband and it's just a long strip of single crochet and then I put two squares of hook and loop tape so that they can easily go on baby and there isn't a button there that could be a choking hazard. And these can easily be washed as well. Now one thing that I did do is I, um, I use Red Heart Soft yarn for this and I embroidered all the smiles with a little bit of yarn and I embroidered this center line here for the ladybug uh, but for photography I added some felt but I highly recommend if you're going to use felt that you sew them on using a whip stitch around but you could also use safety eyes and safety eyes come in all different sizes and those go right into the crochet with a locking mechanism on the back that prevents them from coming out and they're nice and safe for baby so if you're making these to give to a young baby um, that you're not going to be supervising it's better to use safety eyes or if you use this felt to sew it down around the edges with a whip stitch now when I decided to put the rattle in them, I couldn't find at the time, this was several years ago, a rattle that would fit inside this head. I think since you can look online and find little tiny rattles, but I decided to make one and I used a small container like this, a much smaller, so it fit inside the head, but it looked like this and I opened it up. See if I can open it. I have lotion on my hands. Well, I can't open it right now for some reason, but I put these beads inside. So inside my bugs here are a few beads and I 
put some glue inside the threads of the lid, put the lid on, and now I have my own DIY homemade rattle. So that's what I did. And you could, if you have a bigger uh, piece, this one is inside the belly of the ladybug. So if you have something like this that's nice and small, you could create your own rattle for some of your other stuffed things that you might have made with crochet. So let me show you a few of the stitches. I'll show you the adjustable ring because if you work on any amigurumi, any critters, you usually start with this technique. So this is how I like to do it. I'm going to show you a thicker yarn so it's easier to see. I take the end of my yarn and I wrap it around my hand like so, my non-working hand, and then I cross it over on the back and I pinch it here on top. Then I put my hook in and I grab that working yarn and now I have a loop on my hook. Right here, I think is the trickiest part. I pinch the bottom of that loop and I thread the yarn so I'm ready to work. And then I chain one and that helps lock that loop in place. And then I just go about working my stitches inside the ring. So if you wanted to see that again, you can just stop the video on replay and rewind a few seconds and watch that part again you can even there's a menu in youtube where you could uh, slow it down so you can watch it even slower after i've put in six single crochets i take the tail and i pull it and like magic there goes that center hole like so and then normally depending on what the pattern says I put a slip stitch in that first stitch and I have a nice tight beginning to a crochet circle. And if you ever take a close look at different types of crochet toys, a lot of them start with this tight circle. So on this one, I started right down here and then at the top of the head the ladybug I made two circles and then a circle for the face and for the back of the face and then I already showed you for the bumblebee a circle here and a circle here so this technique comes in handy a lot when you're making stuffed things now I also wanted to show you how I made these wings. Very simple. And it's also a simple technique that I used for these wings. So according to the directions, you just make this little base right here. And then I'm just going to do the actual shell-like stitches like this right in here. So I'm going to chain three. And I'm going to skip the first stitch and then I'm going to work a whole bunch right here in this middle stitch. I'm going to do a treble crochet, which is yarn over twice, put my hook in, yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And it makes a really nice, tall stitch. Then I chain one, and then I do that again. Yarn over twice, hook in, yarn over, pull up a loop. Four loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and then chain one. Do it again. Yarn over twice, hook in, yarn over, pull up a loop, 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You can see here it's making this these long spokes or a fan or a shell. Chain one, and now I'm going to do one more treble crochet. Yarn over twice, hook in, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, through two. And there you can see how it actually looks like a little shell. Then I chain three, and I'm going to slip stitch in that last stitch of the row to finish it off. And so there's how you make a little bumblebee wing. Can you see it okay? And you can see the comparison with the smaller yarn right there. So that's a few little tips about the buggy wrist rattles that you can see here. I'm going to turn my camera back around and remind you of our giveaway. So here comes my ceiling. And there we go, back. So, um, don't forget that if you'd like to win a digital copy of Best Crochet Animals, Toys and Dolls, you just have to answer in the comments or the chat below right if you've ever made a crochet stuffed toy and if you say no nope, i never have i'm waiting to try one soon you can put that that's a good answer but if you have made one just tell us what you have made i love to go back and read those and you have till next monday night and then on tuesday i'll go through and pick a random answer and contact you and let you know that you've won this magazine and we'll hook you up with getting it sent to you digitally so you can download it immediately to your device and get 50 plus patterns for free. So thanks again for joining us today, our first live on YouTube. Uh, hope you could see everything okay. And oh, I never told you, if you hung in there till the end, the reason why I did Ladybug and a Butterfly and a bumblebee is because I have three daughters and when they were babies, <laughs> that's what we called them. My oldest is the ladybug, my middle daughter is the butterfly, and my youngest is the bumblebee. And they wore cute little costumes when they were babies <clears throat> and we took photos. So ladybugs, bumblebees, and butterflies, not only are they pretty out in the garden and I love them out there, but they mean something to our family too. So thanks for hanging in there till the end. And I'll see you next month with another tutorial. Have a great rest of your Friday. Bye.